Hey guys, coming back with a updated toolbox tour for 2023. Um, changed uh, jobs earlier this year. I'm now in heavy equipment, was in automotive. So let's get into this. Um, I have my Snap-on tool cart. My 84 inch Epic and 68 inch Epic because I ran out of room in my 84 inch and got a hell of a deal on this one. So, let's start with the cart over here. So my most used ratchets and generally just where I keep my ratchets or try to or up here on these three magnetic rails my organizing trays and another magnetic thingy bobber here works pretty well this I don't know about this setup I've been looking at ratchet organizers I'm not sure what to do um most of these are snap-on, as you can see. I love my snap-on ratchets. And then these are bit drivers right here. These are Mac, and this is snap-on. Little pocket pry bars, knife, you get it. And over here, I have my Mac half inch flex head ratchet, shorter Mac half inch ratchet, flex head, and older Mac non-flex, that thing's sturdy. Snap on locking flex head, three eighths, the long one. And little Matco 88 ratchet. This is a little magnetic tool with a grabber on it. Mirror. And this is a pretty sweet little driver setup. A quarter inch, some wheel ratchet, and just a cheapo driver. This side is mostly half inch. Um, these are icon sockets, metric, deep, shallow, Harbor Freight, 12 point impact. Again, half inch. These are Craftsman, 12 point, shallow. This is the whole master half inch deep gray pneumatic impact set, metric. Astro. 3.8, no, I'm sorry, Astro half inch um, impact sockets, the wobbles. These are gray pneumatic 3.8 metric wobbles. An assortment of adapters, short extensions, some other wobbles here. Um, this is where I keep most of my daily used extensions. And then these are tire chucks, stuff like that. Tire deflator for those kinds of tires. You're not using your normal air chucks on these. Assortment of magnets. These are, again, half inch shallow, gray pneumatic master impact set, the metric. Mostly Harbor Freight 3 8 impact deep. A little ground down 24. Some more adapters. That's three quarter to half. And this is, what is this? I don't know, doesn't matter. These are shallow 3 8 metric impact sockets. This is an assortment of I believe, okay, three eighths magnetic universal impact sockets I got from Echo Truck. 
Um, that's all the sizes I could find in them as far as that goes. Snap-on, ball, and stubby, hex, metric, um, three-eighths deep. These are icon, three-eighths mid-length. These are all gear wrench. And then icon shallow, these are all metric. These are all my snap-on, three-eighths metric universals. I'm waiting for my 18 to come in. And then some Torx gear wrench universals. Craftsman 12 point metric shallow. Astro nano sockets metric. Some pry bars, a couple breaker bars, another mirror. This is a belt tool. This is another pickup tool. And pretty much the only standard size sockets that I own. And they are a mishmash. I think they're mostly Craftsman USA. I need to up my standard game. Coming down here, assortment of picks, blow guns, battery tester, a little baster, another pry bar, and an assortment of brushes. Eighty-seven piece blue point set, snap-on screwdriver set, a little bit holder, some snap-on cabinet screwdrivers, a number three snap-on screwdriver, ratcheting screwdriver, snap-on metric and standard Allen keys, um, Torx keys, and then just an assortment of bits and a magnifier. These are Tecton uh, hex keys, and these are Jumbo Grip branded hex keys. They're pretty massive, seem pretty sturdy so far. I don't have to use them all that often, but man, when I do, they uh, seem to do the trick. I have some more bit drivers right here. These are Matco rebranded from something I'm not sure what. Apparently they don't make them anymore. Down here is some of my daily use metric wrenches. These are Cornwell Blue Power Stubby Ratcheting Metric 10 or 8 through 19. This is the max set, the what is it, Precision Torque? Pretty nice because you can just fold it up, go to the truck, whatever you're working on. Stubby non-ratcheting icons. They're okay. I like the icon set, but it sucks that you have to buy a whole new set if you lose one. So I'll just upgrade those to snap on or something. Cornwell 8 through 8 through 24 flex ratcheting. Those are just regular size wrenches. And then I have the metric expansion on the uh, precision torque wrenches. I really like these wrenches. Like, I like the feel of them. They work really well. I have the uh, snap-on ones as well that you'll see later. But those ones, I prefer the precision torque. So are all my air tools and cordless tools I use most frequently three-quarter earthquake that thing's pretty strong works pretty well so far three-eighths half inch snap-on stubby matco three-eighths stubby earthquake half inch the milwaukee that thing i beat the crap out of i've thrown it dropped it you name it this little quarter inch cordless ratchet has seen better days but still works well that's the Milwaukee high speed. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Milwaukee because their battery holding mechanisms kind of suck. Uh, Mac tools, extended reach cutoff tool. This is a flexi head one. 
and then die grinders, as well as a long reach from Harbor Freight, Chief brand. That thing's pretty sweet. Oh, tire chuck, because eventually, or sometimes we do get trailers. This is my hammer drawer. Uh, pretty decent selection. Um, Harbor Freight, I love my anti vibes. I love my snap on dead blows. Um, got pretty much what I need. Don't really need anything else. I could use a bigger sledge though. And hydraulic plugs, a grease gun, oil changing tools, and zip ties, lockout tag out kit. Oh, over here, I have my creeper, the Harbor Freight Viking jump box, that thing's sweet, and my under hood light that I brought from when I was in automotive. Found a few uses for it here, but normally not that much. All right, we're on to the 84 inch. That's just laptop, uh, some outlets I added, my fan. I like this thing, got mixed reviews, but it's pretty sweet. My organizing trays from Matco, and hydraulic pressure and oil testing kit. I have adhesives and other random consumables up there. And then this is just a box of extra O-rings, uh, bolts that I took out uh replacing components stuff like that uh, a couple catalogs it's my kind of filing and scraping drawer um haven't used these can't wait to try them out got them a while ago just haven't used them uh same with these haven't used them but seemed like they'd work well so i got them um i've used these these are just a Lyle rebrand, and I love them. Uh, brand new Snap-on file set. Had to have them. Um, these are just some Nicholson files, and honestly, they're great. I didn't even need to get more files. I just wanted them. A um, couple seal pullers. Use this thing more than you'd think. It's a putty scraper, whatever you want to call it. This is big wrench drawer. Most of these are Sunex, uh, Clutch, or Pittsburgh. Um, an inch and a quarter, all the way up to, I believe it's two. And angle wrenches. I have inch and three eighths, up to two. These are my jumbo crow's feet. I had to make a little uh, holder for them because those cases take up way too much room and then my metric jumbos from 33 up to 50 these are just some slim wrenches cheapos that's the standard set and this is the metric they do okay i haven't had any issues but they are definitely not the best quality Power drawer, it's my air hammer, uh, 90 degree air drill, regular air drill, snap on. Um, that's my cordless drill. I just got that. Um, I had rigid tools for a long time. Mine were about 10 years old, so it's time to upgrade. And then my little impact driver quarter inch. I got the Streamlight Stinger switchblade and the Stryon switchblade. I have the Bear Trap. And then I have the Stinger and the Stryon. Um, I also have these neck lights that are, as you can see, magnetic. And 
pretty sweet, better than the snap-on ones. Um, these don't break and uh, they're bright. Got two of them, they were like 35 bucks each. And then, this is my diagnostic, one of my diagnostic drawers. That's my Vocom, assorted cables, uh, great all connectors and so this is a vocom 2 that's regular vocom that took a crap and really i just need to throw it away this is just assorted banging prying um removal tools uh slide hammer stuff like that uh, gear pullers all that kind of stuff, C-clamps. All right. Top drawer on this one is not impressive because I actually have that box at home. I brought it in so this one wouldn't be as cluttered. I'd have more room. So here we have a brand new unused 3 8 I don't even know what you call this, tight reach access thingy bobber. These are all my quarter inch sockets. These are, I believe, okay, these are Icon, metric, uh, deep and shallow. These are all Matco right here, magnetic. I think I have 10 through 14 deep and shallow. Some E-Torque sockets from Harbor Freight. And these are all snap-on wobbles. I have, I think, um, what is it, eight through 14. And then I have a seven millimeter Matco and then a quarter inch snap-on. These are stubby Sunex, I believe. Yeah, Sunex, uh, hex sockets. Some triple squares from Blue Point, and then some um, stubby torques. From these are all from uh, Gear Wrench, and then this one broke, so I replaced it with a uh, Blue Point one. It's a gray pneumatic, the complete quarter inch shallow set. Only use the 10 so far. Universal metric impact driver socket extension set. That's a mouthful. Pretty nice for hose clamps, stuff like that. That's about all I've used them for. I thought, you know, take a chance on them. Paid way too much for those. And then these are like double jointed extensions. And yes, I have used these. And yes, I am glad I got them. They could definitely put you in a bind, I can tell. But if you're careful about the situation you get into with them, then they'll save your butt. Matco Impact 3 8 locking extensions. And then these are the spring loaded from extensions from Matco. I like those. It's my Matco three quarter inch ratchet. Um, it does extend. Uh, I'll show you. Let me see here. Haven't had any issues with it. Um, very stout. This is Matco big half inch locking ratchet. My Icon ratchet half inch. These are some Cornwell locking impact extensions half inch. And these are all Matco. That one, that one, that one, and that one. And those are half inch with three eighths ends for bell housing bolts. And then some chrome assorted 
extensions I don't really use. That is all my three quarter sockets. And this set goes from, what is it? Three quarter all the way up to two and a half. And that thing is sweet. All my uh, three quarter inch extensions. These are the RBRT X sockets, the deep ones. Ran into a stripped one and ended up having to get that and worked pretty well. So I'm sold on the RBRT stuff. Definitely plan on getting more eventually. This is my other wrench drawer. So we have standard three quarter down to five eighths. Those are Blue Power Cornwell and then stubby, um, exactly the same. Um, five sixteenths to three quarter. This is my Mac Precision Torque all the way from quarter inch to 15 sixteenths. I have these, I call them socket wrenches. Socket on one end, open on, on the other. There is a place for these. I have not used the standard set yet, but I did use the uh, metric set here, which goes from eight through 19. Loved them. Um, Pittsburgh, long metric, snap-on, flank drive plus from 6 through 19. These are the uh, platinum wrenches from 8 through 25. And then some snap-on, uh, call them line wrenches. I don't know what you call them, but open in on one, flare on the other, so probably call them flare nut wrenches. And then gear wrench, non flex head ratcheting wrenches from 8 through 19. Some uh, double offset wrenches. Don't really use them, but just in case. And then S wrenches. And then this is most of my metric angle wrenches. Um, this goes from 10 through 30 two with no skips that I'm aware of, except for the, no, no skips actually. Um, it's started out as a snap-on set that I just expanded with other brands that, as those brands, you know, if I break the Sunex, I'm gonna replace it with a snap-on. But for the time being, these all work well. Um, the Capris are pretty sweet. They have the anti-slip grip as well. And the machining is really nice. I'd love to try more Capri tools. And these are Icon, just 3 8 uh, crow's feet from 10 through 19. Again, my own holder, because I didn't have one and those boxes take up way too much space. Onto the plier drawer, one of the plier drawers. And I may have a problem. So, I'm not going to go through all of these. I'll just show you. Um, go through some of them, but basically, these are hose clamp pliers. These ones, these are hose pinch off pliers, um, circlip pliers, snap on. These are all various vice grips. And then. These are my snap-on adjustables. These are the wide mouth. And then I got the Baca, the big one, which is the same. Um, these are the anti-slip, just regular adjustables. My Nipex, these guys are pretty handy. I wanna get the rest of the set. And then I have all of the Cobras, uh, just about. I don't have the tiny ones. I went with that one because I like the grips. And you'll see I have the rest. And these are just adjustable pliers or channel locks, whatever you want to call them. And then I have the snap on small ones. And then just various other retaining ring pliers. 
you don't know those. You get the picture. This is the punch drawer. These are, no. I just set this up actually, cause I got the other box. So my most used punches right here. These are repurposed from like things that hold thumbs. These are like locking pins, make great punches. Um, these are kind of specialty punches like this guy right here. Great for if you have to drill out a bolt and you can't get the rest of it. You kind of tap this around and get the rest of it out. Brass punches, center punches, air hammer bits, and air tool keys. And then uh, some race punches. This is my uh, bad day drawer. So we have extractors, master extractor set, uh, twist sockets, Mac drill bits, all cobalt, the short and regular length. And we have the hyper steps. Uh, Milwaukee for beating the crap out of uh, some random drill bits in here all the tap sockets, metric and standard measuring tapes, some more extractors, rivet gun, some more extractors. And this is the big Mac tools tap and die set that comes with more extractors and left hand drill bits and all that stuff. Those are all on here. I'm not gonna take them out, but I like this set. Um, works very well. And yes, I know it's rebranded, but I don't care. And these are the jumbo metric. Rethreading kit, torch, and some butane. It's kind of a random drawer. I got a cutoff wheel, a heat gun, extension cord, extra hose, air hose. Um, that's for inflating and deflating on loaders. And that's just another air hose. These are all my uh, cap and plugs, and then fuses, connectors, my homemade fuel test kit, and my Mac battery charger. Um, only works on 12 volt, but uh, it works well. So if I have a machine with dead batteries, I'll just charge it one battery at a time, or I'll use that one and a shop charger. This is all my trim tools. These are knockoff Mueller Krups, however you say it. Trim tool from when I used to work at Honda. Great trim tool, very versatile. Matco trim tools. Of the uh, pry tool that everyone else has. And then this is a pretty sweet one, pretty handy. I need to get a new one, it's chipped. Snap-on trim tool set, non-marring. This is a pretty sweet set, if I can open it. Comes with four of them. This is just like that one up there, but has a nice grip on it. And this set is identical, but it's longer. So hard to reach areas. This would be more handy for automotive, but you know, heavy machinery still has trim. So I still use these, just not as often. Oh. 
the pick set drawer. I also have a brush set in here. But just assortment of picks and o-ring tools. There's the o-ring cups. I have the other one in there. That's Cornwell. Snap-on long ones, regular ones, um, and then their big grip ones, slightly bigger than these. Haven't opened the package yet, haven't used them. Um, these, this is the Max set. This is actually the Cornwell. I don't know if everyone else has gotten the sale, but this is like, like 10 bucks. Uh, got it. And then the radiator hose pick set. I got these thinking they would be handy for radiator hoses, but haven't really used them. I used this one a little bit, but wasn't that good. And this is kind of a random drawer. Um, slide hammer kit and vacuum cooling refill kit, pressure tester for cooling system. This is my Mighty Vac. Dial indicator with magnetic base and a dial indicator with a clamp base, both Cornwell. And this is another slide hammer kit, but tiny. And then we have face mask, some microfibers in here, some cutting oil, air tool oil. Onto this box. On top of here, I just have paperwork. Um, I believe this is more hydraulic test stuff or oil change stuff. Just random, you know, funnels, hoses, stuff like that. A tub of towels, another one. I love those. Some talkies. Stuff I'm taking home. Don't need it here. And the top drawer. I have the... Cornwell 92 piece test lead set. This thing is awesome. Don't buy the snap on one. Don't buy any other one. Buy this one. It's kind of pricey. It's like 300 bucks if you don't get it on sale, but comes with a bunch of stuff. And honestly, uh, I don't think you can do any better. If you pay more, I feel like you're probably getting ripped off. This, okay. This is my Pico scope. Yes, I use a Pico scope. Um, certain things kind of have to. New DeWalt batteries. Haven't old them, opened them yet. Don't need them yet. Some extra wrench trays, socket rails, stuff like that. It's all my tool receipts. And this is the Matco half inch digital torque wrench. Does an angle. It's the 300 foot pound one. Snap on. I believe this is the split beam style. Yes, up to 250 pounds, foot pounds. This is the Matco 3.8 digital torque wrench with angle flex head, as was that other Matco one that was flex head as well. Um, Mac split beam. This is a Mac quarter inch digital flex head. And then still waiting on my half inch one to come in, but three inch. 3 8 dial, torque wrench, inch pounds. That's Cornwell, but it's, uh, I think, 
Precision Instruments is who makes it. And then torque adapter set. I can open it. It's hard to do one-handed. There we go. Kind of a random drawer. I got hair ties for holding tools, clothes, like spring-loaded tools, paint markers, pens, random fork, a stapler, some wide out, um, sharpies, uh, highlighters, stuff like that, extra clips for my socket trays, all just kind of assortment of magnetic stuff. This is the uh, Magnetic uh, cup thing, cup organizer, snap-on, mats, easy red mat, and then the uh, snap-on magnetic tray. This is another uh, ratcheting screwdriver set from Mac. It's pretty sweet. I want to get the RBRT one, but I do have the RBRT bits here. And I love those. I also play with RC on the side. And uh, these are great for when you strip those tiny little uh, fasteners on there. Because you got the uh, 1.5 and the 2 and the 2.5. So have the Cornwell Deep triple square set. Um, don't think I'll ever use them here. But whatever vessel cordless screwdriver i love this thing it's not very strong but it's uh definitely made my life easier i would definitely get one of these again if i lost it tomorrow comes with an assortment of bits stuff like that definitely want to try more vessel and my gear wrench ratcheting screwdriver set. This one's nice because I can use this in my snap-on one. All these bits are interchangeable with a snap-on one. So you can buy this set for like 30, 40 bucks and use all these on your ratcheting snap-on screwdriver that I showed you earlier and save some money and get an extra ratcheting screwdriver out of it. This is the rest of my pliers. I have all the PZW or PWZs, the, except for the five. I have the zero, one, two, three, and four. The big boy Nipex. These are the big retaining ring pliers, Blue Point. Obviously rebranded. I'm not sure who makes them, but those are blue point. Love these pinch off pliers. And I got the little uh, snap on kit. Um, just because I'm a plier horse, so I had to have them. And then radiator hose clamp pliers, the long reach ones, uh, the Matco and the Snap-on. It's my measuring drawer. Have an assortment of calipers, everything from this manual or uh, non-digital caliper, haven't used it, but and Mac tools, caliper, digital. I'm not gonna open all of these because this is a pain in the ass. This is the rotor gauge. Um, not sure I'll use that here. That's from when I was in automotive, but I figured might as well keep it around just in case. 
you'd be surprised. Another caliper, just kind of a crappy one. And same with this one. This is a low micrometer for the Mac. Haven't used it, but just in case. These are long feeler gauges, I believe from Lang. Very long. Pretty decent. And I have two sets of the snap-on feeler gauges with the handles. Some bore gauges and a little ruler and a big one. These are my T handles. I have the metric Allen and then the Torx. Um, if I could go back and buy these again, unless I got a holder or something for them, I probably wouldn't. I wish I hadn't have thrown away the uh, case for them. Uh, let me turn off my alarm real quick. All right, on to the next drawer. Oh, okay. So this is my electrical drawer. And air conditioning, but mostly electrical. I love this meter. You already know what it is probably, but yes, I love that. Works well. The screen's bright. I feel like it's accurate and I got the magnetic hanger for it, all that stuff. Uh, the app works well. It can be two, two places at once. I also got the snap-on lead set. Um, pretty nice, pretty handy. Kind of expensive, but worth it to me. Uh, small amp clamp. Big one. Um, this one does up to, what, 1500 amps. I have an assortment of uh, power probe attachments the amp one, the pulse width, and the 5 volt reference. And this is the Snap On Ultra Probe. This thing is awesome. This is a power probe on steroids. Um, if you don't know how to use it, there's a manual. I would definitely recommend this over the four any day of the week. And I loved my four, so. This is a relay tester. Have to have it, it's great. This is a test light, just a basic one, lights up. Uh, this is the Power, Pro Power Probe Short Finder. Um, Parasitic draw tester, load pro, Cornwell digital uh, test light, my little snap on bore scope. Y'all know about that already. And then Matco Tools Wi Fi bore scope. I wasn't a fan of that, but you know, it's actually not that bad. It's just cumbersome and awkward to hold fuel pump bypass kit, assortment of terminal cleaners right there for round terminals. These are for spades, trailer tester and cleaner, deep pinning tool, and then another tool kit or a terminal tool kit. This is for Deutsch, another terminal kit. This is a Volvo special tool for uh, terminals, wire strippers from uh, Cornwell. I'm not sure who makes them, but obviously not them. And then soldering gun, torch, battery tester, and this is just AC stuff and transmission stuff from automotive. A little temperature gun. Um, Little UV light. This is another one. 
and the dual temperature probe. It's another, this is like an airline disconnect tool. Same with that. This is just an assortment of pullers and stuff. Harmonic balancer puller. This is the aluminum race and seal driver snap-on. This is bearing and uh, pulley puller set for Mac. This is a two ton ratcheting and five ton ratcheting from gear wrench puller. And then I have some brake flaring tools. Probably won't use them here, but you never know. I'd bet not. That's in line. Then tubing bender. Assortment of pry bars. This is the indexing one. Actually, all three of these are. Some lady slippers. My big, big Mac pry bar. That thing's thick. And then this one's a bit longer. You can see that. That takes up about the whole 68 inch drawer. And then the last drawer, I got my Mini Ductor Venom. I love that thing. Fan clutch set. And a little radiator tool for cleaning out radiators or cleaning off fins. Whatever you want to use it for. Uh, this is a Mac impact driver set. More for like uh, rotors and stuff like that. Automotive, again. Safety wire twister, some safety wire, plastic rivet setter tool. Um, this is my plastic welder. And then I have a piston ring compressor, serpentine belt tool. That's a hole saw kit from Mac. This is a gasket cutter. Um, assortment of center punches. I'm not going to take them out. Um, this is the Astro rationing crimper. It does okay. I don't really use it anymore. Blue point vacuum. Um, we have a piston groove cleaner and spreader right there. This is a spring compressor for automotive. Fuel pressure tester and vacuum tester. I use that here for like feed pumps. That's a def refractometer. And then Matco Rivnet tool. Labeler. This is a stethoscope. Um, pedal holder, that's a hood prop. And then this is actually the master fuel pressure test kit from Matco. Um, I bought the add on when I was still in automotive. It's a smaller plastic welding kit. And that's my combustion leak tester. Well, that's it. Other than my uh, little stool here, so. Thank y'all for watching. If you made it to the end, you're awesome. If not, that's fine. It was a long video. All right. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.